to all students in this video lecture we are going to discuss mimicry as you know that in our animal kingdom in our ecosystem so many type of organisms and animals and plants live together and there is a relationship which is known as predation which has two components predator and prey every animal try to kill and eat other animals as a part of food chain so they have different adaptations to attack other animals similarly just like predators prey also have some adaptations to camouflage or to protect themselves from the attacks of predators so mimicry is one of them but we are we should not be confused with confuse mimicry with camouflage camouflage in the camo, in the process of camouflage animals uh, resembles some inanimate subjects while in mimicry uh, an animal resembles a uh, another animal of different species to protect themselves from the attacks of predators so let's discuss mimicry in details first of all we are going to describe the definition of mimicry resemblance of one organism resemblance between an organism and an organism of an another species so resemblance of one species with the other species is known as mimicry so in this method in this process usually one animal resembles which is usually harmless and resembles another animal which is very harmful to protect themselves from the attacks of predators there are different types of mimicries but most important types of mimicries are batesian mimicries mullerian mimicry and mertensian mimicry before we discuss types of mimicry in detail there are two components in mimicry number 1 mimic mimic what is mimic mimic is the organism that has resemblance and the other component of mimicry is a model the organism it resembles is known as model now let's discuss types of mimicry in detail the first type i'm going to discuss right over here is known as batesian mimicry in batesian mimicry a harmless mimic a species an animal belonging to a species and it is very harmless poses as harmless it adopt such physical appearance that it looks like a very harmful animal like a sheep in wolf's clothing this mimicry has been named after henry walter bates and it is exhibited by such animals which are very harmless and in this mimicry only mimic gets benefit while model does not have any kind of benefit or losses let's try to understand batesian mimicry with help of an example i have two flies right over here this is hover fly hover fly is a harmless belonging to different species of animal kingdom this is wasp it also belongs to different category of animals but this is very harmful as hover fly does not contain sting while wasp contains sting it attacks on other animals with help of its stings predator which are usually birds love to eat hover fly because they are harmless as you can see right over here in the green arrow and as a result hover flies become prey of these predators while wasp are saved from becoming prey of these predators now this hover fly which is harmless it mimics the body shape of model which is a wasp and protects itself 
from the attacks of predators. When hoverfly mimics the wasp, then it can be protected from attack of predator. In this way, their lives are saved. So this is known as mimicry. The second type of mimicry which we are going to discuss today is known as Mullerian mimicry. In this mimicry, two or more harmful species belonging to two different categories mutually advertise themselves as harmful and they become more powerful harmful and can survive the attack of predator. This mimicry is named after Fris Muller. In this mimicry, both mimic and model get benefit from this interaction and this interaction is usually in the form of mutualism because both of the animals, both of the species are benefited from this interaction. This mimicry is exhibited by harmful animals and example of Mullerian mimicries are tropical butterflies which shows Mullerian, Mullerian mimicry, bumblebees, poison frogs and coral snakes. The third type of mimicry which we are going to discuss is Mertensian mimicry. In this mimicry, deadly mimic resembles a less harmful but less in teaching model. A very poisonous, very dangerous animal become less poisonous, less harmful. But when a predator is going to attack those animals, it is going to teach them a lesson that this is a very harmful animal. So stay away from those animals. This mimicry has been named after Robert Mertens. There are some other types of mimicries also. Vesmanian mimicry. In this mimicry, mimic resembles the host and lives inside the nest of those animals like some beetles and ants. And as a mimic, they reside in their nest where they are fed by food and they can grow and then leave the nest and can also be protected by host from the attack of predators. Vavilovian mimicry is usually found in plants. Usually there are some specific weeds which resembles the wheat plant. They grow along the wheat and are protected from the harmful effects of predators and other uh, animals who attack on weeds. Self and auto mimicry are similar and in this condition one body part mimics two other. For example, some owls usually have eyes on in the front but sometimes they mimic as that their eyes are present on their back of the head. So in this way they are protected from the attacks of predators. Aggressive mimicry in this condition some animals living in environment mimic the shape of a very dangerous animal and are protected from the attacks of predators. In it, it is auto mimicry is also similar to self mimicry while there is a protective mimicry and there are some other examples which you will uh, study in your textbook. I, I hope uh, uh, this uh, lecture will make sense and uh, hopefully see you in the next lecture until then bye.